Scheiße. Hello and welcome back to Scottish Man Up Man channel. I'm really excited to share this video with you as it was almost as much fun to edit as it was to film. Back in the summer I took a trip up to the Highlands to go hunt down some wild brown trout with my fly rod and my good friend Danny. What made this day out so special was the location in which we'd be fishing. We were heading to the top of a mountain to fish two beautiful hill locks. We had both opted for different fishing methods. Danny had brought a spinning tackle and I had chosen to stick with a fly rod. We arrived at the first loch and quickly set up. Danny knows these waters like the back of his hand and he told me that both lochs were very different from one another. We decided to start at the larger of the two lochs to try and give ourselves as much time as possible to explore around it. The habitat under the water was almost completely rock, so we fished any structure we could find and fished hard along the bankings where the depth changed. Danny had mentioned that in his experience, the first loch produced fewer fish, but they tended to be on the larger side. The second loch, on the other hand, produced a greater number of smaller fish. After what felt like 10,000 casts and a full circuit loch, we admitted defeat. We moved on, headed over the hill to the smaller loch. As the loch came into view and we slowly navigated the rough ground, Danny had a bright idea. <laughs> Middle of summer, still snow in the hills. <laughs> a competition. What's the wager? Most fish. Most, so numbers. Yeah, because they're not big, so most fish. And is it a prize or a forfeit? Well, uh, any ideas on the forfeit? You jump in there. Loser has to jump in the water? Yeah. I'm wearing my waders, mate, and that doesn't sound appealing. <laughs> I'll drown, I'll sink like a rock. <laughs> hmm. Hey? Is it really soft? Ah, uh, well, I probably won't wade too far then. <laughs> We almost lost, we've almost lost Danny. <laughs> oh well. I'd have left a headstone or something for you. Right. He's talked this lock up. He says the fish are small, but they're here in good numbers and they're not fussy for taking the fly. So, let's see if the proof is in the pudding. So it's as good a place as any to start. Here it goes, Danny. I'm just going to wade past these initial weeds to make life easier, and I can see a little drop off ahead of me. Is that what we're wanting? The ground's nice and hard below my feet as well. Okay, the competition has officially started. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> and so it begins. Got to land it though, mate. <laughs> The curse of the Toby continues. <laughs> oh, fish on! Oh no, Danny! Oh no! <laughs> oh, lucky! <laughs> right. No way any further left. It's starting to get soft underfoot. Nice. 
Now there's another take, Danny. Another tiddler. It's hotting up. <laughs> Yeah, you got one. That looks okay. Yeah, I'm on. There we go. <laughs> Pretty fish, yeah? Let's have a look. Let's see what these little trout look like then. Come here, come on. This is where they do some crazy shit and come off right at your feet. Like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on, little guy. Now, when you're handling fish, remember what your hands. Look at him. Right in the corner of the mouth. Uh oh. Stunning little fish. There we go. One all. Cracking. Yeah, they, they look at pretty much identical, mate. One hole. <laughs> Game <laughs> Place your bets. Oh, yeah, there's a nice fish. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I'm sinking. I still got him, though. Sinking, get out of this hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I almost gave birth there. <laughs> oh. This happens when you stand on a peaty lock for too long, you sink. And another one. Put in the mouth. There's fish. Well, that was a bit of excitement, wasn't it? Finley Owen's guide on how to catch fish and simultaneously drown. That's 2-1, Danny. Not to brag. <laughs> Do I look smug? I feel smug. Well, he talked the lock up and he was right. There's fish here. Sorry? Is that deer, is it? That's cool. I'm not surprised they're lying on the snow drifts. I would be too in 20 something degree heat. Poor buggers have big thick jackets as well. Ah, right. Boys and girls, how not to treat your fishing equipment. <laughs> Big rod up here. That was fun, almost drowning there. Hey. Uh, no, no, not quite. I um, <clears throat> when I hooked that fish, I had too much slack in my line, so I tried to walk backwards, and it was at that moment I realised I'd sunk half a foot into the water. Oh, I just saw a trout riser. I wonder if the dries would work. I think I'll keep trying the uh, the nymph for now, but well, this is so far so good with the nymph. Two for two. Uh, one bigger than the other. One was about mm, I don't know a quarter pound. The other one was wouldn't have registered on the scales. <laughs> hey, fish is a fish. Cast. That 
the nymph sink. And once it's down there, we just slowly start retrieving. No, it's oh yeah, there's a fish. That's a nice little one. No, I came over here because you didn't seem to be sinking over here. <laughs> Okay, I think I'll get him. Oh yeah, but you know, it feels like we're fishing in habitat here, whereas over there it just felt like a big rocky hole. Have you? <laughs> this is my biggest one so far, for sure. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's quarter pound easy. I know, they are just the most visually stunning fish. Little red spots. Beautiful. Is that 3 2 then? Oh, you're only one behind, mate. Yeah, I tell you what, that last one was a good quarter of a pound, so I reckon there'll be at least one half decent fish in here over a pound. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> Maybe we've just not found him before. Or her. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's in again. Is this the equalizer? <laughs> All right, Moby Dick himself. Three all. I'll catch him in a minute. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have been feeling so smug earlier. Come on, fall off, fall off. <laughs> Nervous moment. Okay, you've caught it, four, three. <clears throat> you have to buck up my ideas here or you're gonna run away with the game. 5-3, come on Danny, give us a fighting chance. <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe you, where your spinning gear should have some kind of golf style handicap, where your final total is deducted by maybe three to five fish. <laughs> You're not counting that one, are you? Toby's bigger than it. <laughs> oh, come on Danny. He's off, good. Still 5-3. <laughs> it's your biggest one. It's your biggest one, you say? Oh. oh. I've got to see this then. That's worth a wonder. See him? Beautiful. Release him just on the water. Night and Danny. I'm going to have to stay up here with you. I shall try from over here. Oh, little take. I got a bite. Oh, I missed it. I just saw the, the end of line disappearing into the water. I think 
I'd spat it by the time I f felt him. That's a nice little fish. That's a nice little fish for a little take. <laughs> so subtle. <laughs> just, just a little pond skater, you know. Oh, yeah, it goes crazy now. You couldn't even just let me release that fish and feel good that I've got to 4.6, now 4.7. Yeah, well, game on, son. <laughs> that looks like a nice wee one. Uh, oh, it's... It's a hard choice, isn't it? What do you want to do? Catch lots of little fish with a small chance of a better fish? Or go to a place where you're fairly sure there aren't many fish, but the ones that are there are stonkers? Don't know. Don't get me wrong, this is great fun. <laughs> yeah, I should have probably I should have probably known there was something up when you, you were suggesting we had a bet for this. You knew you were gonna catch. Eleven fish in twenty-five minutes. That's not bad going. I like to be as optimistic. That does not count. That does not count. You didn't touch it, mate. You seen it? I saw it, but you didn't catch it. That's how much I reeled it in. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much you reeled it in. You couldn't have eaten it for dinner because you didn't technically catch it, so it doesn't count. <laughs> I've only got a three-fish lead. It's all to play for still, buddy. I'm, I'm going to head down to the bottom corner in a minute and see if there's uh, any fish down there. See, if it would stay like this, I'd happily put a dry fly on and give that a crack, but when the, yeah, when the gusts pick up, it would uh, kind of foil my plans. Hey, You got a good one. That looks all right. Get it in your hands and we'll count it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we'll count that one. <laughs> I always try to be as optimistic as possible, but 8-4 is a tough comeback. Like. Yeah, <laughs> another subtle take from a minnow. Ooh, 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 <laughs> ooh. Tell you what, these these uh, finger trout <laughs> don't have run about the place. Ah, oh! no, it doesn't count. Ah, oh, I sorely needed that, eh? No, I don't cheat, mate. <laughs> I'd rather lose honestly than win by cheating. Is that you on again? No. Yeah. Good. <laughs> do you know I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna switch to the other rod and start fishing uh, two or three flies, just to, <laughs> just to <laughs> give myself a little advantage. Yeah, That'd be good. That would certainly do me some favours for catching you up. <laughs> Bugger when you lose a minute. <laughs> well, I think I, I know. I know there's no need to, but I really want to go try that bottom corner just out of curiosity. Is that your "I'm winning" dance? 
Is that your I'm winning dance? <laughs> hmm. That's Danny furthering the lead some more. So I switched. It's a nice wee fish. Weed makes it look bigger as well. Right, we're gonna start from this rope here. Stand on the rope. Ah, got a height advantage now, Danny. Watch this. <laughs> Come on! What are you on now, Danny? Ten. Ten. Good. Glad I'm still on four. You're on eleven. You're just taking the piss out of me now. <laughs> Nice. Oh, come on. I think I'm going to have to go back to small rod and persevere because this thing just doesn't have the flexibility to play these little fish. There we go. There's a tiddler. Don't come off, please. Can't afford to lose any more fish. Stop jumping. Just want to touch it, come on. Caught you, that's five. Thank God. A little cracker. See you, bud. That was on the dropper fly as well. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, man. I cannot afford to be losing these fish. Oh, right, I'm putting this rod away. <laughs> it's just too big and clumsy for these tiddlers. Right, the little rod's coming out, mate. This will boost my success rate again. The little rod for the little fish. Oh, come on. I've 
I've lost my touch, Danny. That's about five five hits I've missed now in a row. I can need to go sit on the bank and think about my actions for a while. <laughs> I like your sneaky technique where you don't shout, you know, fish on or call your fish. You just wait until you're stood holding it and then give me a big cheesy grin. Are you on? Well. Okay, that's not so bad. Well. I'm on seven, I'm still five behind you. That last one was a very pretty little fish. It was really light brown, quite golden. Not like the rest of these peaty brown trout that are black. There's another one. Nice. Another little gentle take. What happened there? Right, something's clearly happened with Danny over there. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to get this fish in so I can count it and then we'll investigate. Oh, I'd say this is probably my nicest fish of the day. This is definitely the fish of the day for me. Just not want to come near me. And I don't believe them. Brown trout. Just standing. You can see the fly just in his mouth. Sorry. Just so beautiful. Danny was really showing me up at this point and it built up a substantial lead. The score was sat at 12 7 to Danny. We'd agreed that the competition would finish when the clock struck three, so we only had about half an hour left's worth of fishing. I don't think we'll have much longer left up here because it's a long way home. <laughs> that last fish made that this trip more than worthwhile. What? Oh, you got one? Sorry, I can't see from here, man. <laughs> oh, <I hate> <laughs>
Are you getting a few down there? Right. I genuinely didn't think I stood a chance of closing the gap, but as I headed to the corner lock to join Danny, I hit a streak of six very small trout, which brought the total up to 13.15, still in Danny's favour, but I felt I had a fighting chance. Danny reckons there's a good few fish sitting in that bottom corner, just off the weed bed, so let's go find out. Danny was still feeling very confident he had the competition won, so he allowed me three minutes of extra time fishing whilst he packed his gear away. Well done. Well, you beat me fair and square, mate. Ah, fi 15, are we calling that a part of the competition? If you want, 14, 15, and that's respectable. <laughs> hey. No, just different methods. I hope you've enjoyed joining me on this adventure. I hope it's inspired you to get out there and get fishing. I've got some really exciting films coming up and if you'd like to see them as soon as they drop, hit subscribe and turn on the notifications with the bell. To see some of my latest films, follow the link here. But until next time, take it easy, tight lines.